1952 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by NGC. Attractively toned quarter dollar with amazing preservation level for an almost century old coin. Strong iridescence is evident around the right borders of obverse side. Device elements are well struck. This specimen was sold for $1,085.62 with buyer's fee. Number 6. 1957 Proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR67 Ultra Cameo by NGC. According to NGC, proof set sales again nearly doubled from the previous year, but a figure of more than a million proof sets seemed to scare many in the coin business. The speculative market in such coins collapsed under the weight of overproduction, and this set was a drug on the market for the next 20 years. This immense mintage resulted in a large population of fully red gems, but most of these have little or no contrast. Cameo pieces are not rare, but ultra cameo specimens are very rare in relation to the total mintage. Number 5. 1946 S. Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark S over D. Graded in mint state 66 plus red by PCGS. Red book listed over mint mark variety that was discovered in the mid 1990s, the echoes of the underlying D subtly reveal themselves within the curves of both S loops. Device elements are sharply struck and surfaces are lustrous. It was sold for $2,031.75 with buyer's fee. Number 4. 1973s Kennedy Half Dollar Struck on a Bronze Scent Planchet. Graded as PR66 Brown by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, one of the most intriguing and desirable errors from the John Whitney Walter collection. This piece is struck on a bronze scent planchet that is expanded to an ovoid shape in a vain effort to fill the space between the half-dollar dies. The strike is generally centered, both sides with sharp central devices and all of those around the peripheries faint to absent. The S mint mark is sharp, and the date is discernible with the digits 73 most complete. Beautifully toned in a blend of glossy copper brown and powder blue, traces of original bright pink color remain in the centers. It was sold for $7,800. Number 3. 1963 D. Franklin Half Dollar Struck on a Silver Dime Planchet. Graded in Mint State 63 by NGC. An important off-metal planchet error, this being the rarest variant known on a Franklin Half Dollar. It is also among the most visually stimulating due to the wide size discrepancy between the dime planchet and the intended half dollar. I appeal is superb. It was sold for $7,050. Number 2. 1943 Lincoln Cent Struck on a Dime Planchet. Graded in Mint State 65 by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, fully brilliant and sharply struck on all but the extreme edge of the coin where the smaller dime planchet was stretched nearly to the width of the Lincoln Cent by the force of the dies. Blazing white and lustrous with no signs of toning. The strike is so sharp even the VDB on Lincoln's shoulder is clear, a feature often lacking on normal 1943 cents on steel planchets. Of course all 1943 mint errors have a sort of magical appeal because of the fame of the 1943 cent struck on regular copper planchets, of which only a modest number exist. The fame of the 1943 mint errors continues to grow as new price records are reached each time these appear for sale. Finding any such planchet error like this cent on a dime from 1943 is a great fortune for the student of 20th century errors, but in the gem grade this is truly a connoisseur's prize worthy of the finest mint error collection. It was sold for $10,575. Number 1. 1932s Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 66 by NGC. Extraordinary premium gem quality for a key date Washington Quarter issue that enjoys strong demand throughout the numismatic grading scale. Delicate champagne gold iridescence dresses surfaces that are fully lustrous and softly frosted. Both the razor sharp strike and outstanding preservation are also praiseworthy attributes. He 3 1932 dated issues of the new Washington design type are the only quarters produced by the United States Mint from 1931 through 1933. The Great Depression served to limit coinage of many denominations during the early to mid 1930s, and the quarter was no exception. At just 408,000 coins struck, in fact, the 1932S has the lowest mintage in the Circulation Strike Washington series, and it is the rarest issue of its type in gem mint state after only the 1932D. That's all, folks. If you'd like to delve deeper into the world of US coins, feel free to explore our other videos available on our YouTube main page.
We appreciate your support, and we look forward to seeing you again in our future content. God's will, see you in the next episode.